want to do the honors? No, you go ahead. I, I need to take it in from here. I was hoping you'd say that. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh -huh. That's my brother, Ryle. The first official customer? Well, you'd have to buy something to be considered a customer. Right now, you're just loitering. Lively's new drama, It Ends With Us, was a box office hit over the weekend, but apparently the drama didn't end when the cameras stopped rolling because it looks like there could be some bad blood between some of the cast members. Ooh, TMZ's Charles Charles Lottaboutier is joining us live now with that story and what else is making headlines. And boy, there is the plenty to talk about this morning, Charles. Good morning. Yes, indeed, there is. Um, where do you guys want to start? All right, so let's start with Disney star uh, Sky Jackson arrested. And boy, this is just a hot yeah. mess. Break this down for yeah. us. Yeah, uh, Sky Jackson and her uh, boyfriend, actually, what we found out through the story uh, is is also the father of her um, soon to be born. Well, we don't know when, how pregnant she is, but she told police after they investigated this uh, fight that they got into at Universal City Walk, but she told police that uh, they are uh, expecting a child together. But yes, the star of Disney's uh, Jesse and Bunked um, is uh, all grown up now. She's 22 years old and was at Universal City Walk this weekend with her um, boyfriend, and they got into a fight that was bad enough that people called police. Um, now, when police arrived, they both tried to say that, you know, nothing happened and it's just a little argument, no big deal. Police reviewed security footage and they saw that actually what they saw on the camera is that Sky had pushed him. Um, and so she was actually cited for misdemeanor battery. Um, now, that she was arrested for that, but they uh, have to decide whether or not charges will be filed. Uh, we're told that this will go to the L.A. Uh, city attorney. Uh, actually, sorry, it'll go to the L.A. County district attorney to decide whether or not uh, to go forward with, uh, with any charges here. But uh, they did see something on camera. And the other part we found out because of this is uh, Sky said, at least she told police, she's expecting. So um, good news, bad news? Mm. Well, what were they arguing over in the first place? It's unclear what the argument was about. I mean, I hate to say this, but when you're at Universal City Walk, especially if you've been there all day, mm -hmm. people get in arguments, man. You're waiting in lines. It's hot. It's, it could be anything. Um, but mm. the fact that she pushed him um, made it go beyond the pale, and obviously that's why someone decided to call the police. Um, yeah. well, exactly. And, well, somebody yeah. somebody obviously thought it was an ad, or out of the ordinary situation if they right. felt the need to call the police. Right? It's never so, okay yeah. on both ends for a woman to put her hands on a man or for I, a man yeah. to put her hands on a, on a woman. Yeah. So. The other thing is, yeah, we we don't know a lot about him, um, and she, for whatever reason, has chosen to. And sometimes we see this where uh, celebs don't want their a significant other to be in the middle of the spotlight. And so she's not even really, this is not someone she's posted on social media. So um, trying to find out more about him. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Of course, we'll keep with you guys uh, um, as we learn a little bit more information about that. But uh, we'll circle back now to Blake Lively uh, having some beef, I guess, with her director slash co-star. Was it because she wants to kind of get into the directing scene? That's what I heard on, on the topic. Yeah, there, I mean, there's a re there's a reason people think that because last week he was asked about whether or not he would direct. Talking about Justin Baldoni, uh, whether or not he would direct a sequel, uh, and he sort of, in a shady kind of way, said, "No, there are other people to, who can uh, who can do that." Um, he just turned it down. He said, "No, I wouldn't do it." And if Blake wants to direct, fine, Blake can direct. Um, oh, wow. It seemed shady because there were all these stories that there was a rift between them. At the premiere, um, he refused to take photos with her, which is very wow. odd for the director not to take photos with the star and producer of the film. Um, he just posed um, with, his, with his spouse. Um, but it's like he's not participating in the promotion of the film with Blake, even though they are co-stars um, on screen. So it made people think there's something going on here. And then we got this video uh, that was shot by someone who was inside a restaurant in New York, in New York City where they were shooting this. Um, and, yeah. and the way they saw it was that there was an argument, like they'd stopped shooting a scene, they already yelled cut, and they were still having a very uh, heated conversation. Now, we spoke to, that's what the witness in this restaurant, how they saw it. 
Um, but yeah. someone who works on set told us that it was not an argument and that it was just a discussion uh, between them about the scene. Justin was not actually in that scene. He was only directing. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, two <sighs> different versions. Someone who was on the set working in the movie said it wasn't an argument, mm. but... Yeah. Someone who is not involved in the production saw well, it. And it looks yeah. like it. Different. Honestly, these are two people who are very passionate about their work. Hopefully, they can squash this and we all get yeah. out there and see this good movie. Yeah. Quickly, before we let you go, uh, we got to talk about Alexandria's own Noah Lyles. He's getting some backlash after the Olympics. Uh, he ran with uh, COVID, but then yeah. some people looked up and saw him just partying Turn it away, having, having a good time. I, I'm so torn about this because, you know, I, I had no issue with the fact that he ran. Um, they're in an outdoor stadium and all the other athletes were aware of it. But his reaction after the race when he won the bronze medal, which you got to say is pretty impressive with COVID, yeah. <laughs> um, but that he had to be taken out, um, that he'd be wheeled out of there and that he was, you know, seemed to be in such pain. But then a couple days later, he is out after the Olympics partying in a, a club in Paris. Yeah. Uh, now, he said, look, I, I've, I tested negative, even posted uh, this negative test. Mm -hmm. Of course, immediately everyone goes, um, everybody can do that. You can get, get a photo of a negative test online and post it somewhere. So Yeah, yeah I mean, it's a bad look for a handful him. of reasons, I think, because he was out, he yeah. ran with COVID, mm -hmm. and then after he, he lost, be, he basically a, told everybody they had COVID. Right. So I think that's why it was a bad look. Put in a wheelchair. I mean, just the optics of all of yeah, this, right? Of all so, of it. It was I, several different wrongs. Yeah, completely yeah. understandable. Well, Charles, mm -hmm. thank you yeah. so much for popping on in and all chatting right. with us. Good to see you. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, guys, just a reminder, you can catch Charles and the rest of the TMZ team weeknights at 730 right after after Like It or Not here on Fox 5. Uh